Mean Video 718. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. You got something to say? Let's have a conversation. What's good, y'all? Mean Video 718. We back with another one. We got your boy Charleston White. He going at that boy Envy. He going at Envy head, man. Not only Envy. He going at all the scammers. I'm not going to lie. It's crazy how... You know these people is just getting scammed out of their life savings. You know what I mean? Like that'd be the crazy part. But let's get into the Charleston White. You can't defraud anybody. Uh, I can lie and talk you out your money, and I ain't done a mother thing wrong. Maybe lying. I sell the house. Maybe I won't. Men lying. <laughs> uh, but once I start defrauding you, then then, then that's a crime, homie. And, and you have me giving you this money in the name of the information you done gave me. And we buying houses. If I gave you statistics and uh, we're flipping houses. You wasn't giving them statistics. <laughs> uh, they had a real real estate program where they were teaching people uh, uh, how to acquire this. And, and, and uh, it was a Ponzi scheme. Uh, let's go and do it like this, because uh, speaking of the rich, not mixing with the poor, we got to talk about some some things. And uh, I got to get your thoughts on uh, uh, Cesar Pena, DJ Envy. Uh, seemed like they didn't ran up some type of something. You know, DJ Envy said, I ain't got nothing to do it. I'm a victim. But to say you have a victim, to say you're a victim means that you're saying a crime been committed. And now they're going through with this housing scheme to where you know, people have given their money and they ain't got the, back their return on their investment. And now they're, you know, the feds then came in and came down on uh, Caesar opinion. Uh, my question to you is really more so, is it a crime if someone willingly gives you their money, uh, expecting some magic to happen behind the scenes? Uh, yes, if you gave them false information. Uh, you can't defraud anybody. Uh, I can lie and talk you out your money, and I ain't done a motherfucking thing wrong. Maybe lying. I sell the house. Maybe I won't. Men lying. <laughs> uh, but once I start defrauding you, then, then then that's a crime, homie. And and you have me giving you this money in the name of the information you done gave me. And we buying houses. If I gave you statistics and uh, we're flipping houses. These niggas wasn't giving them statistics. <laughs> uh, they had a real real estate program where they were teaching people uh, uh, how to acquire this. And, and, and uh, it was a Ponzi scheme. Home, that's against the law. Yeah, that's where they lost me. <laughs> it's a Ponzi scheme. So... <laughs> Once you do so many people, uh, of course it becomes a crime. You do one or two or three people, uh, you done hit a lick. But once you continue on and, 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 and you start doing this on the level they was doing it, homie, nigga, they were teaching classes. <laughs> uh, and, and, and they was promising some things. And at some point, they had to begin to play as if you bought this for this to get to this point. Everybody else seemed like they stopped. I ain't going to say no names, Tony the Closer. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna say no names, Tony yeah, the Close. Can, why you can. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like that. Uh, what's the other nigga name that came here? Uh, did the real estate. Uh, he was at the uh, the pandemic bookstore in Oak Cliff. Ooh, that, they was on the corner. The real estate nigga that was doing. Oh uh, yeah, uh, goddamn. Oh, he was talking good game. Come food. on, man. Uh, goddamn it. Uh, he was talking that good ass what's game. What's the nigga name? How many had everybody fooled at first? Ah, fuck, man. Uh, Him and Tony Close and <laughs> beat the people. See, Tony Close and gave the money back. <laughs> Tony gave the money back. Yeah. Uh, man, what's that nigga now? He was a big real estate. He had everybody. Yeah, he, was he was out talking to a lot of people. Out. Uh, Morrison. Morrison? Is it? Nah, is one Morrison, it? one Morrison. Uh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. It'll come. So, 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 let me just say this, homie. Uh, I, I know I, I got law enforcement friends, homie, who, who people 
uh, believes in these guys so much uh, that they, they, they gave into this. So I, I ask people all the time, let's go back to uh, prosperity preaching. Let's, let's go there. So prosperity preaching came about late 90s, 2000. So then it was fire and hell, stone brim preaching. Then all of a sudden you got these prosperity preachers, Benny Hinn, uh, Creflo Dollar, uh, everything began about man prosperity. God is prosperity, and it became about money. So we started seeing multi-rich preachers, but everybody who was sowing these big seeds, we never heard no testimony where man I sold ten thousand dollars to preacher and boy I'm a millionaire. You never heard those stories, but you would hear the preachers say this, right? Thanks. So that's the first one. So for 10 years, there was a big portion and big faction of black people, homie, who were running to the church, believing if they sow these big seeds into these churches, that's where all that's who built the mega churches. That's who built the mega churches. The prosperity preaching and people believing, I got a seed, Reverend. And people were throwing money at the preachers, thinking that the, the return on the seed would go be tenfold. And boy, these people check engine light ain't went off yet. God damn. So let's go to the second thing, a second wave that came about. Credit restoration and oh, credit shit. repair. Oh man. Boy, that hit big and boom. Man, you signed him up for 20. We never saw nobody who got into these programs who went from having bad credit to all of a sudden having credit, business credit, discredit. <laughs> 30 days. Come on, homie. We never saw it. That lasted for 10 years to a decade. Then all of a sudden, here come the real estate gurus. Here come all these real estate programs. Take my real estate. We never saw nobody who won from at home. Hey. So, so at some point, uh, the government can't keep saving black people. Because I'm sure they didn't scam a bunch of white people because it wouldn't have lasted this long. Mm -hmm. mm. So, I, no, wait, so, so I would ask you then, I would ask you then, what, what are your thoughts if a scammer scams a scammer? Uh, I've been scammed before. Yeah, I've been a scammer who's been scammed. I used, be a, I used to be a nigga that like to play with that counterfeit money. Uh, you have any remorse for them? Uh, no, nah, man. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, uh, because... I, when I when I took it out the streets and started putting it on regular the, the square the, the working man is it, where the bad luck goes goes into play. So as long as I'm keeping it on these street niggas, it's cool. But nigga, I went and put it on the working man. Uh, that's when a nigga was fucking with the throwback jerseys. Uh, uh, Mitchell and I, I, Yeah, man. I, I and that's when nigga was spending a thousand dollars, five hundred, eight hundred bono. Uh, man, I shoot like $5,000 uh, counterfeit money uh, on a guy around Christmas time, around this time. And he go to the mall and try to and, and get jammed up. Uh, this grown man called crying. Uh, Cause he in some trouble. <laughs> kind of money, he, yeah, he in some trouble. Uh, and, and they was starting to get hot on it. Uh, make a long story short, nigga within a week or two after that, shit, I get got with some fool gold. Uh, Mexican catch me with that gold. Uh, yeah, with that gold, uh, we walk in the pawn shop, but he got somebody in the pawn shop in on it too. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, man. So they testing and everything and say, hey, man, I give you 800 for the bracelet. Uh, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking nickel. <laughs> Come on. I'm saying, man, if a pawn, they give me 800 for this bracelet, man, I know a pawn shop I can take it to at least get 15. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and man, not, I ain't thinking about the necklace. Mm. So uh, they wink at each other, uh, cancel the transaction. It should have dawned on me. Why wouldn't he pawn it in? <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? But I'm greedy. Yeah. Greed. You up. can't think straight. So soon we get outside and say, hey, I'll sell it to you. I hurry up and say, man, get here. Jump in the car. My baby mom said, give me, give me 800. This bill money. Man, give me the 800. She just cashed her check. <laughs> She said, man, you sure? Man, give me the money. Shit, man, here I give it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Nigga be man, calling him up. Jumping that motherfucker, go straight to the pawn shop, and this is fool's gold. Come back to where they got it from, and they playing dumb. <laughs> so do you crash out? <laughs> yeah. Like, but but guess <laughs> what? When you get back in the car with your baby mama, you know what she say? 
That counterfeit money you shot on that man. Man. He in trouble though. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drop a comment and let me know if you feeling Charleston White or not. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. You know what I mean? Peace.